Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Take Down Media, Nike Hot Seat special guest, the other half of this year's 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic Heavyweight matchup. He joins us now from Wisconsin, and he's a big man indeed. He is Connor Medbury. Connor, how are you? I'm doing well, Scott. From Loveland, Colorado, you come to wrestle in the great state of Wisconsin. You're coming off your red shirt, Olympic red shirt year. Uh, welcome back to college wrestling. Yeah, thank you. It's, it was a good experience taking that red shirt, but uh, I'm glad to be back training with the team and um, getting ready for folks out. Oh, absolutely. 51st annual NWCA All-Star Classic takes place November 5th at Cleveland State University's Wolstein Center. Uh, who did who called you about this? Who first told you about this invitation? Yeah, Coach Davis uh, called me into his office and um, said that I got the offer to wrestle in the duel and I uh, just needed to think about it and see, uh, make sure I, I wanted to be obviously ready for it and making sure I had um, proper training time and stuff like that. But I think it was kind of a no brainer. This is a great event and one that I've never been to and always, always paid attention to. Obviously, it's got great matchups. So I'm looking forward to being part of it. Well, it's a, uh, an awesome opportunity to showcase your skills early on in the season. You're going to be facing the heavyweight from Virginia Tech, that Hokies Ty Walls. You and Ty have tied it up before in both folk style and freestyle, and you hold a 3-0 advantage over Ty if that's not – I think that's correct, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, do you, uh, are you looking forward to uh, matching up with him again? Yeah, I am. I, like you said, I've wrestled him a few times in a couple different styles, so – um, he's familiar, but it's also been a little bit, it's been a couple of years. And so obviously we're both, we both train hard and want to improve. So I'm looking forward to it. He's a heavyweight that scores a lot of points and likes to get in a lot of wrestling positions for a big guy, which, um, is the way I like to wrestle too. So I think it's a, a great matchup and I'm looking forward to it. So once on the college mats and then two time on the freestyle mats, you, uh, you didn't, uh, make the team, but, Working to make the team, working to make the Olympic wrestling team, uh, you were able to, I think, advance your skills by quite a bit. Um, you were a training partner for two-time Olympian, a good friend of ours, Travel Delagnev. What was that like for you? Yeah, being able to uh, train with Travel is a real privilege. Obviously, being down in, I uh, went down to Ohio State a couple times, and so uh, that room's got quite a bit of depth for big guys with Kyle training there, and then Travel obviously too. And um, it was just a really great experience to be able to. Um, just kind of pick his brain a little bit. Obviously, like you said, he's a two-time Olympian and, and kind of has had control of that weight class for a couple cycles now. And so just being able to kind of pick his brain and um, just continue to develop my skills and things I needed to work on and um, just getting a competitive side of you, a guy that I wrestled before. And so he's felt um, a lot of different feels. And so just kind of picking his brain and picking up different technique and um, different strategies on even how to approach wrestling and mindset and preparation is really, really beneficial. You know, Wisconsin's last appearance at the All-Star Classic of Memory Service is November of 2008. It was also a heavyweight bout, and it also occurred in Ohio. It was Oklahoma State's Jared Rochalt who topped Wisconsin's Kyle Massey 8-4. I know you're looking to continue your winning ways, uh, as you have in the past with Ty, but uh, I've got some questions I'm going to ask you. Uh, what can we expect to see from you? I mean, you go 125-0 and your last three years in high school into a very competitive market where everybody's a state champion at the, at the collegiate level. Um, it's, it's, it's difficult because you guys are all still growing a little bit, surely in muscle, muscle tone and talent, Matt talent. What's your game plan against a, an aggressive guy like Ty? Yeah. Ty's one of those guys that kind of came in, uh, a little smaller for the weight class. He was kind of like me, um, being kind of caught in between heavyweight and 215 um in high school and so you have to make that decision whether you want to go up to up to heavyweight or down to 197 and so um his first couple of years i mean he's been doing well on the circuit the whole time but he's definitely put on some weight since i wrestled him and um yeah i'm looking forward to the matchup like i said before we both like to get out there and score points and so um i think that's good for the fans and good for the sport just um the heavyweight weight class has definitely changed quite a bit um kind of started when i was first got into college and so i um, keeping that aggressive style and looking to score points is definitely good for the sport as you learn more about yourself on the mat in life and academically um, I think that's how we grow and, and perhaps we 
sometimes uh, shortchange ourselves and not giving equal credit to each one of those things, but you're one of those guys academically sound. You're a, a kinesiology major, is that correct? Yep, that's right. Can you tell our viewers what that means? Yeah, so that's uh, the study of muscles and movement, and uh, so it's exercise and movement sciences, so it's just kind of, it's really applicable to sports and wrestling specifically, just uh, training protocols, and um, usually people go on to some sort of uh, health degree, whether it's PT or OT or med school. All right, so if I size up this this weight class collegiately, Nick Wisdowski is gone. Adam Kuhn is going to take a red shirt, we've been told. Kyle yep. Snyder's moving back to 197. Uh, you know, it's you, it's Ty, it's a couple other guys, really, but, you know, ranked fourth in 2015th or finishing the year fourth. Uh, I got to believe uh, you're pretty excited about the NCAA and the potential this year. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, from what I understand, Kyle will probably be staying at heavyweight. Um, just to stay big competing internationally um, from what I heard. But, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a deep weight class for a lot of years, and it's no different this year. I mean, there's a lot of younger guys coming up. And so, um, like I said, a lot of guys that like to wrestle and score points, which is great and um, definitely plays well into my style because that's what I want to do too. So um, looking forward to the year. Yeah, I'm really excited. Just excited to get back on the map, put that W on my singlet, and um, get after it. Recently, you guys added a couple uh, couple guys from California, some blonde-haired boys from California. Right. What, what do you know about the uh, uh, the twins? Yeah, <laughs> the Wick boys just came into town uh, probably about a month ago now, and so they're getting settled in pretty well. Uh, Madison's kind of known for having mopeds around the city, and uh, I'm not sure if the Wick boys got the memo or not, but they're rolling around in Razor scooters, so... <laughs> they're, razors really yep <laughs> <laughs> well, well i tell you what they're good kids and they uh, are, yeah. come from great family come from a great family i want to ask you about uh coach barry davis i'll tell you first what he said about you uh when i first learned that you were going to be going to wisconsin a couple of years ago right. and that was that uh he was expecting a very nice young man a very powerful young man one that wanted to achieve at all levels what do you have to say about Barry Davis? Yeah, Coach Davis is great. Obviously, getting to know him over the past few years, he's definitely a dynamic character, but uh, he's been great, you know, being far away from home, having that father figure there for you and just to uh, help you stay on the right track. You can go to Coach Davis with anything you need, and he'll find a way to get it done for you and help you out. And so it's been really great, um, great direction the program's going. And, um, yeah, with good recruits like Wicks and – a few other guys coming in, it's continuing to go that way, which is a testament to Coach Davis. Connor Midbury, our guest in the Nike hot seat today. We're talking about the NWCA All-Star Classic. It'll take place November 5th in in the Cleveland, Ohio. So you're not necessarily going to get any closer to yeah. home by going to Cleveland for the All-Star Classic. But i got to believe there's some people you would like to see at this event. Who would they be? Yeah, I think so. Uh, like you said, it's going more east, so kind of getting further away from home. But uh, my parents will be there, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in the stands and getting to enjoy the great event that it is. Mm. Donnie Pritzloff wrestled in this event once upon a time as well. I do remember that was uh, an all-star classic that uh, we don't forget. That was year 2000 and 2001 season. He defeated Iowa State's Joe Heskett 3-2 in a tiebreaker. Man, I tell you what, that was one of those bouts that you just don't forget. Um, you've got a lot of great history there uh, at Wisconsin. Of course, you want to you wanna take that flying W and uh, and hold it up proud, put it on the singlet, of course, and wrestle well at the Wallstein Center. It takes place at 6 o'clock. The main event goes off at 7. That'll be November 5th. Tickets start at 15 bucks. Go allstarclassic.com or the Wallstein Center box office. That's 844-407. 2279 or you can buy uh, tickets at northeast ohio discount drug marts as well it will be streamed live for a cost at trackwrestling.com of course the all-star classic presented by the brewer garrett company our guest today has been connor medbury connor i understand you're going to be making an appearance on takedown radio as well 
Yeah, I think so. Saturday morning. Dude, you're getting all sorts of press. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate you taking the time, man. I'm looking forward to this matchup. I love the heavyweights. Last year uh, was, was a classic battle, and I expect nothing less this year. I think it's going to be outstanding. Yeah, thank you. appreciate you having me on and on Wisconsin. For all of us at Takedown Media, I'm Scott Casper. Special guest today has been Connor Medbury. We're talking NWCA All-Star Classic. We'll see you there.